Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to implement a menu in our Bootstrap WordPress theme. Alright, so it's going to work a little different than what you would do for just a regular Bootstrap theme. I'm sorry, a regular WordPress theme. Uh, because we want to be able to use the drop down, the Bootstrap drop down um, with our WordPress theme. So we're going to use something called the WP Bootstrap Nav Walker. Okay, this is a class that we need to download and just include in our theme. So what we'll do is you want to go to this page and I'm going to just download the zip. Okay, we'll open that up. And you should have a folder like this and we just want this file. We want to bring it to our theme folder. So let's open that up. Okay, this is the theme folder and we're just going to bring this over. All right, and then what we're going to do is go into our theme folder and create a new file. We're going to call this functions.php. This is a very important file for any WordPress theme because this is where you can put all your dynamic functionality. Okay, so what we're going to do is we first want to require that file that we just put in. Okay, so we're going to say, uh, actually, let's put a comment. Okay, so we'll say require once and we'll pass in WP bootstrap navwalker.php. Okay, so that'll bring it in. Now we're going to create a function to add the add stuff um, for our theme to support. All right, so uh, let's say theme support whoops I didn't want that okay so this will be a function and I'm just gonna call this theme setup alright and let's go ahead and add support for nav menus oh, why does it keep doing that okay so we're gonna say register underscore nav underscore menus all right and that's going to take in an array and we're just going to have one menu and it's going to be in the primary position all right and then for the text it'll just say primary menu all right and this double underscore function this is just a localization function for wordpress uh, you want to wrap that around any static text that you use. All right, so that'll that's that. Now, in order for this theme setup function to run, we need to create an add action function. All right, and what this does is we can choose a hook to hook into and run this. All right, and if you look at the documentation, there's a, a ton of different hooks you can use that get fired off at different times. The one that we want is called after setup theme. Alright, and then the second parameter is just going to be the name of the function we want to run, which is theme setup. And we should actually prefix this. We'll say um, WP, WPB underscore. We'll use that as a prefix. Okay. So we can save that. Now, if we look at the GitHub page for the Navwalker, You'll see this right here, uh, this WP nav menu function. All right, so we want to include some extra stuff here. Okay, normally you wouldn't have stuff like the walker. Um, you would basically just have the theme location, uh, classes, things like that. But we're going to go ahead and copy this. And we want to go to our header file where we have our menu. Now the way this is set up is is different than a regular WordPress navbar, so it, it's probably going to look a little different in this particular theme. Uh, I didn't really realize that before I started. Um, you can see we don't even have a UL here, and the code that we paste in is going to generate a UL, so it might be a little different. But let's just go ahead and replace everything inside of this nav tag with what we just copied. Okay, and then we're going to save that and go back and reload 
and now you can see we have this add a menu because there's no menu assigned to primary so if we click that it's just going to take us to the back end here so we want to go to if we reload appearance and then menus all right and then what we'll do is we'll say main menu create menu and now you should have an option for the primary menu location so you want to check that and let's go ahead and save we'll go back and reload and now you can see we have well it looks like the only thing that's really wrong is that the the, the color is blue so let's go ahead and change that we'll go to our style sheet and go down to the bottom here and let me see what do we have for a class okay so blog nav all right so we'll say blog nav a color white okay oh good that worked out now hopefully the the um oh let's do the hover as well All right, so I just want to check out um, if the drop downs are going to work. Now, in our uh, footer.php, we need to we need to correct this because right now it's looking in the WordStrap root for a JS folder. So we need to just make sure that it looks in the template. So we're going to say blog info template URL slash and then JS all right so let's save that and what we're gonna do is create a couple pages so let's create about okay and then let's create another one we'll call this our team and what I want to do is over here I want to choose about as a parent all right, now this isn't really going to matter with the menu because we can set parent and, and child items from within the menu section, but um, I'm just going to do it anyways. And then we'll create another one called services. And then let's go to menus. And we're going to bring over about services and our team. And then what I want to do is put services under about like this. Same thing with our team. And then we'll save it. And then let's go back to the front end. And now we have a drop down. Perfect. That worked out good. Now if we go to one of these pages, it's not going to be any different because we this is still all static HTML. All right, but we know our menu is now working. All right, so in the next video, we're going to go ahead and start to work in this area and get our get our posts showing.